game on Wednesday was Minnesota visiting Northwestern. The Wildcats had lost two straight games, didn't shoot well against Nebraska, didn't shoot great against Penn State, but Jordan Murphy's been great every single game for the Gophers. Most consecutive double-doubles to open a season by anyone in the country this millennium. But here's a foul early on on Jordan Murphy. He only played seven minutes in the entire first half. Zero points, one rebound. A few minutes later, Wildcats. Oh, look at that. Brian McIntosh to Derek Pardon. And then more from McIntosh to Pardon. Both of these guys had a big day. McIntosh had seven assists in the first half. Max said, you know, I can score two. Ended up with 11 points. Loses his man there. Turnaround shot. Northwestern really rolling along here. He throws up a floater. They're up 22 at the break. In the second half, Minnesota's down 14. Jordan Murphy backing it in, and Derek Pardon says, get out of here. Swats that away, and here's McIntosh with another assist. Scotty Lindsay. He did a great job of finding his teammates where they could do something with it. Moves him way up there on the all-time list in terms of Big Ten players with assists. Nine minutes to go, McIntosh using the screen, finds Pardon again, who ended up with 13 points and 12 boards. McIntosh's assists continue to grow. Here he finds Scotty Lindsay for his 14th assist of the night, and he wasn't done there. We're talking 16 dimes for McIntosh. Zero turnovers on top of that. That not only is a new career high, it breaks the all-time Northwestern school record. Wildcats win 83 to 60, thanks mostly to McIntosh and his assists. Also to Scotty Lindsay with his 22 points on the day. Ryan McIntosh talking with our John Crispin afterwards. Right, we're going to talk a little bit about 16 assists and the record, but first off, how good did it feel for you guys to come out and just get that spark again? Yeah, we had a great, great pop is how coach refers to it. It was a tremendous pop. We played with a lot of passion. We played with smiles on our face. We had a lot of fun, and I think the results showed that. At the end of the game, Coach Collins has his shirt untucked. He's disheveled. He's still sweating even in the interview. Does that help you guys in terms of bringing the energy? Yeah, because it's not just us on the floor then. We don't feel like it's, you know, we're out there alone. We feel like he's with us. And he's a, he's a sideline character, but he's a tremendous, tremendous. He put a great game plan together for us, and I thought we executed it really well. And he was with us the whole way tonight, as you can see. School record 16 assists. What was it about the offense today that allowed you to share the basketball so well? You know, I thought I uh, slowed the game down pretty well. I saw things um, just kind of develop, and I didn't try to make any home run pass, really. Um, maybe one or two, but um, <laughs> I tried to just keep it simple and, and make my reads and go through my prog progressions, and I thought I did a really good job tonight. I don't know how many turnovers I had, but I thought I did a pretty good job tonight. Well, 16 assists, zero turnovers. It's a pretty darn good night. Thanks a lot. Be back. Back to you guys in the studio.